Across Southeast Asia, the endangered Indo-Chinese tiger has been disappearing. Rampant poaching and habitat loss have driven these tigers from much of their historic range. But in one corner of the far east of Thailand, in the Dong Paiyayen Khao Yai forest complex, researchers from the University of Oxford's Wildlife Conservation Research Unit the Wild Crew, and their collaborators in the Freeland Foundation and Thailand's Department of National Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conservation, have documented a tale of hope. Against the bleak picture of tigers in Southeast Asia, camera traps in the forest reveal that tigers in this complex of protected areas have not only persisted, but survive in higher numbers than was previously thought. Excitingly, they documented evidence that the DPKY forest complex is the refuge of one of the last breeding populations of Indo-Chinese tigers anywhere in the region. The researchers also documented long-term persistence of some individual tigers and the presence of some in frontier habitat where it had been thought they were gone. All this is a rare ray of hope in a region where tigers have been struggling to hang on. However, elsewhere in Southeast Asia, tigers have been vanishing and the lucrative trade in their body parts creates a persistent demand, likely to worsen even more the risk from poaching to their remaining populations. Southeast Asia is racing towards transformative development that puts ever greater pressure on its remaining wild habitats. This was the urgent context of analyses led by Wild Crew's Eric Ash, using data from these camera trapping studies to guide the conservation of tigers in the DPKY and across Southeast Asia. The results demonstrate hope for an increase in the DPKY tiger population, but their density in the landscape remains vulnerably low at just 0.63 of a tiger per 100 square kilometers. Computer modeling of the tiger population in this landscape revealed positive associations with their prey, wild boar, but strong negative associations with human settlements, public roads, and of course, the presence of poachers. Habitat at broad spatial scales was the strongest predictor of tiger presence. And when combined with human presence data, this effectively explained the observed pattern of tiger presence. For wider context, the researchers then modeled the potential for tigers to disperse from the DPKY across the surrounding landscape. Now, in theory, tigers are capable of dispersing large distances. The simulations showed that in practice, mortality risk outside of the core habitat is a key constraint. As long as mortality risk in these areas remains high, the potential for tigers from DPKY to recolonize areas in the neighboring Cambodia or Laos remains sadly low. Local extinctions of tigers across Southeast Asia have been tragically frequent. But Eric's work in Thailand reveals an enclave of hope that should be treasured. If wild tigers are to survive in the forests of Asia, monumental investment must be made in assessing and protecting those vulnerable populations that remain. Our research offers a roadmap to recovery for the tigers of Thailand's DPKY and, hopefully, far beyond.